Right, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Retro Game at JL78 back again. This came off eBay the other day. Let's unbox it. We've got some retro gaming goodness. Let's take a closer look. We have Acorn Soft Snap, and that's like a Pac Man clone. And for all you kids out there, this is a cassette tape, which is how we used to load and save our programs and games back in the day. Cassette tape, music used to come on these as well. None of this MP3 rubbish or this uh, crappy download off the internet, none of that downloading rubbish. You used to record uh, your music off the radio, try and pause it to stop the old uh, DJ talking at the end of the song. But yeah, it's a cassette tape and that's how music used to come. And that's how we used to have our games back in the day. So we got Acorn Soft Snapper. Let's see what else we've got in here. We've got uh, a Frogger clone, Croker, looks like. From, uh, what was that? That's from uh, Program Power Electron. Felix in the Factory. Again, these are all on cassette. Now we've got the Sphinx Adventure. And that looks like a, a text based, it sounds like a text based adventure. And there was no graphics on the screen, just loads of text. And you had to use your imagination to play them games. Very popular back in the day. Used to play one at school called L, I think it was called Mathematical Adventure. Used to play that in the library at school on the old uh, BBCs. We've also got uh, Aconsoft Starship Command. We've also got um, Program Power Electron Time Machine. Program Power Electron Bumblebee. We've got the Desk of Diary. It's like a, I presume it's like a, a file of facts type thing. Put your address in there and your date, your birth, and all that rubbish. The introductory cassette. Tells you all about the machine and all the different programs on there. Again, there's a, probably about 15 programs on there and each one has to be loaded on um, every single time so depending on the length of the program it could take 2 minutes to load, 3 minutes, 4 minutes or 30 odd seconds real loading, none of this instant loading rubbish you kids play with Acorn Soft Boxer, now I don't think I've ever played this game so I'll be looking for the, seeing if uh, what this game's all about, a boxer, I presume some sort of a uh, fighting game. We've also got a vintage Acorn Electron. Look at this, look at this. Oh, smell that, that's 1980s score. Oh, beauty, retro smell. Oh, that's good shit that is, that's good stuff, smelling this stuff. Smelling the Acorn Electron. It's even got on the back of it, the cover, still, for the um, cut, um connector at the back there for the plus one, plus two interfaces. Where's it going? It's on there. It's an electron. Lovely. So what else we got? We've got the Sphinx Adventure author Paul Fellows. Good on you Paul Fellows. If you see this video I'm going to be playing your games, mate. There's some more stuff there for the Sphinx Adventure. We have instructions for the desk diary. Loading programs, that sort of stuff. There we go. Look, so he used to screenshots back in the day. That's a capture card rubbish. No sorry, Bob. So he used to get screenshots. So that's the uh, desk diary from Acorn. This is Acorn Electron Desk Diary. We've got the user manual. User guide for the Acorn Electron. Go okay, through it. We've got sample programs. We're going to program which is what I'm going to be doing on this machine. Beauty, look at that. BDU. Print your own characters and your own graphics. Yeah, do some programming on this uh, Acorn Electron. So there's the user guide. We 
have one power brick from Acorn Computers. What sort of power is it supplying? Go on, 19 volts, 14 watts, bloody hell. It's a bit of power in there. That's the power brick. We have this. Now for all you kids out there, this is a tape recorder. You've got the monitor there so you can listen to the sound. It's playing to make sure you've got enough volume. Because if the volume's too low on a tape or too high, tapes won't load. That orange button there is a save and record button. Got load, uh, rewind, forward, stop, eject and pause. And here's your volume control. Get your fairy lights there. Um, so you in the tape's running, power switch there, and that there's a tape counter. And in the back of the tapes, or some tapes, for example, might be that one, if that's got multiple games on there, in the tape insert in the covers, let me just show you. So like in there, like your homemade your home tapes, you'd write in there your program name, so it might be something you've written. So say it's spaceships or something. 0 or 07 when it starts to say uh, 25 you might do another program it might be 26 so instead of going to load one on load the other load the other to get your program you could fast forward it on the cassette so the counter be up to 26 and then uh, it load the program up so instead of go for each individual program you can load the program up and with the introductory cassette if you write the numbers down so if, say example there's a music program you like on the introductory set or oh, like that instead of going through all the programs just fast forward to that number then you can load on just that one program beauty and this for your kids is a tape recorder nice cd rubbish nice uh um mp3 rubbish no sorry bob tape recorder on the back of tape recorder we've got four sockets load i think that's a remote socket save and AUX so load, remote, save and auxiliary and we had these, this is a bit crusty as well that plugs into the side of the computer these plug into the tape recorder and that one's thinner it's a 2.5mm jack not a 3mm and yeah, it's mono because it's got one band that's got, you plug that into a remote socket on a tape recorder and when the tape's finished it automatically stops the tape instead of you having to stop it yourself beauty, so it's a look at that remote, uh, remote connection I think this tape leads are falling apart and one last thing we got start programming with the Electron because on the Electron it has built in basic none of this hard drive rubbish None of this putting a floppy disk in to get the machine to start rubbish. No sorry, Bob. Turn the machine on and it's ready to go. You input, it's ready for you to input commands. So basic commands or what most people did. Chain to load the cassette out and play games. There was a look at my vintage uh, package I got off eBay. So now to go and test if it all works. I'm pretty sure it will do. But it was uh, sold as untested. See you in the next video. Cheers and beers. Bye bye bye.